Welcome to another episode of Gunlocker 75. Out here today with the FN 503. Nice little concealed carry gun that I don't hear much about. It came out in March of 2020 and uh, it's very th slim. Nine millimeter, great concealed carry gun. And unless I've been under a rock, I just don't hear anybody talking about it. Coming from a company like FN that's been producing firearms since 1889, you would think that it would be a pretty big deal uh, when they come out with their first tiny concealed carry gun, I guess you could say. Not real tiny, but it's a little bigger than the SIG 365 but a little bit smaller than the Glock 43. So today we're going to take a closer look at it. We're going to shoot it a little bit and see if this is something uh, that you might be interested in and maybe we can figure out why uh, nobody seems to be talking about it. Let's uh, bring it in for a closer look. Sweat bees everywhere. Just very buggy today. So here's our FN 503 box. Comes in a little nice soft case. Comes with, uh, you know, your typical sticker, lock, paperwork. We'll set this off to the side. This case is pretty nice. You have the gun in here. All mags are unloaded. Guns unloaded. It comes with one eight rounder and one six rounder. Uh, the six rounder I don't have at the moment. And then there's a couple additional eight rounders. This gun is used, but I had the chance to get my hands on it and thought it would be kind of cool to take a look at it. Uh, also in here, and you'll have to forgive me, I have no clue what that is. You get a little uh, flux capacitor with it. Like I told you in past videos, I really don't like to read a whole lot, so if anybody knows what this is, please comment below. Initial thoughts, the gun feels pretty good in the hand. It is small, 1.1 inches width, so it's a, it's a nice narrow concealed carry gun. The grip feels really good, really nice texturing on the grip. No safety, or at least no manual safety. You have the trigger safety. It's an all metal trigger with a five pound pull, roughly. They're saying that this is the lighter tri lightest trigger pull out of the box of any of the small compact concealed carry guns. The mag release is massive. So far I have not heard any real complaints of anybody hitting it or having any malfunctions while they shoot with it. But when you see it, it is a little bit of a concern how big it is. So I guess we'll see if it interferes uh, with my style of shooting. I tend to not come up real high like some people, so I think I'll be fine. Pretty good sized mag release as well, but it's kind of embedded. Seems to feel pretty well. The mags drop freely. I have a hard time kind of hitting it without switching my grip though. Your typical three dot white sights. MSRP is around, uh, I've seen like 450 to 479 which I think is pretty reasonable for an FN. I mean, FNs tend to be on the higher 
side of cost. I mean, they do make firearms for our military. They've been around for an extremely long time. Great company. It's definitely worth taking a look at a gun like this. The trigger seems to be really smooth and light. The reset is a little bit long right there. So I'd say you're about three quarters of the way releasing the trigger and then it resets. But the trigger itself feels great. We're gonna definitely uh, spend some time here shooting different calibers, or different calibers, wow, wow. Uh, different types of nine millimeter. We have some Winchester steel cased 115 grain. I almost, I mean, I can't remember if I've ever even shot steel case through a handgun. I'm not a diva or anything. It's just nine millimeters always been pretty reasonable, but in these times, hell yeah, I'll consider steel case. We got some Agula 115 grain 9 millimeter brass. SMB 115 grain 9 millimeter brass. A couple different types of critical defense. I threw them in the same box. We got some Hornady critical defense 115 grain FTX. And then I have some spear. I just threw it in the same box. I have some Spear Gold Dot 147 grain. This is the cop stuff, hollow points. This is what I usually carry in my everyday carries. So we're gonna see if it has any problems running this ammo. Times are tough, so we'll probably just load five rounds of each in the mags and uh, do, do a couple rounds. So let's get shooting. About seven yards away, we're gonna start with the Winchester steel cased 115 grain. It is very slim. It's a very slim firearm in the hand. First impressions, first impressions, so far so good. You guys will find in my videos, unfortunately I like everything. It's very rare that I don't like something, I don't know. So I'm probably not the best reviewer. Let's just think about it as you're bored, you have nothing to watch, and I'm out here just shooting some guns that maybe you haven't seen before. Let's just go with that. Let's try another. Next, we're doing the uh, Agula 9mm. Of course, 9mm, but brass casing. Still going. Now we'll do some S and B. All right, we'll go check it out the steel case Winchester on the left, the Agula in the middle, and the SMB on the right. 
So there's our five rounds with the steel case. Ran it well. There's four rounds there. I might have pulled one off target of the Agula. And there's our five rounds, two on the outside of the SMB. Let's try some of the critical defense now. All right, we got the Hornady critical defense. We'll start with that and then we'll work into the 147 grain spear gold dot and then we'll do a full mag of eight rounds of the steel case Winchester. I have taped up the targets. This is a low budget show. We're going for the middle target. Having a little problems with the mag release. 147 grain. Right target. Now we'll go left target, steel case. I'll probably go outside of the frame a little bit here. I'll do a little rapid fire. I'm not making up excuses, but if you've never filmed and shot before, you should try it. When you're trying to film a YouTube video, you know, you're trying to concentrate on the camera, you're trying to make sure that you're in the frame. You just got a lot of things going on and it really jacks up my shooting. As you've noticed in other videos, I'll forget my eyes or my ears. You're just trying to pay attention to so many things at once. It's so nice to come out and just shoot and only concentrate on that. I don't get to do that too much because I do enjoy making videos. All right, I'm done making up excuses. Let's, uh, let's get in for the closer look. So we got all three targets here. We started in the middle with the Hornady. And we put five rounds right there. And then we came over to the 147 grain, five rounds there. And then we did a rapid fire with the steel case Winchester, eight rounds. I don't know if we hit all eight. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are pretty small targets too. I mean, look at my hand. So I don't, I don't use real big targets. So seven on that small of a target, I'd have to guess that the eighth one probably would have still hit the torso of a person. Not too bad for me. We're gonna load up three more mags with this steel case Winchester. The mags are nice. They're not, they're not bad mags. They remind me of like Springfield XD mags. They're not real hard to load. You get towards the end and that last round is a little bit tough to get in. And this base plate kind of makes it, I can't quite get the grip that I want on it. See, I slipped that one out. It's a little hard at the end there. Three mags loaded up with eight rounds a piece. Let's go ahead and spread it around a little bit between the three targets and see what we can do. We'll start with the left target.
You gotta just stay on the middle target. Guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the FN 503. I think it's a very good concealed carry option. I definitely enjoyed shooting it. I like the trigger a lot. My guess is if it's not overly popular, which it doesn't seem to be, it's probably more of a capacity issue. It comes a one six round mag, one eight round mag. And you know, in the day and age of the 365 with 10 round mags, 12 round mags, uh, your 43X, 10 round mags, and now they even have 15 round mags for them. I have not done my research to see what they have for the 503 as far as bigger mags. They may have something out there. It is really thin though. I would, I'll have to update you. I believe it's thinner than both those guns. Definitely thinner than the 43X. I don't own a 365, but a very nice firearm. Uh, it has a 3.1 inch barrel, and that's that's about it on the statistics. I think we've kind of covered everything. It's 21 ounces empty. Really like the texture, nice grip on it. The trigger, to me. Uh, beats the 43X for sure. I have never shot a 365. I've dry fired one, that's it. So, anyways, until next time, I appreciate all the support. If you can, hit the notification button. And also, 90 something percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, that would uh, do me a huge favor and, and subscribe if you like the content we're putting out. Until next time, Gunlocker75 out. We'll see you. Thank you.